YouTube, this is Jen, your Pudgy Picker. I did a video once before, uploaded it last night, and it had no sound. So if you were one of the people who watched it <laughs> and pointed that out to me, I appreciate it. <sighs> I didn't have a whole lot. I have most of the stuff still pulled aside um, that I got from my thrift store on Monday. And I also have all my Florida stuff. Uh, we went to Florida. My husband was there for a week for work. Like three days before he left, he surprised me with a ticket to come down midweek and spend three days with him. So that was my little surprise. And of course, I hit all the thrift stores in Orlando, Kissimmee, and I think I hit a few in St. Cloud as well. And the prices were really good. So I was very happy with that. Um, let me show you what I had in my last video, and then we can go from there. Um, I had this uh, Bible. It's a compact Bible and it's in a box it's brand new it was um, eight dollars then it was four it is a soft cover and very tiny writing which is difficult for me now that my eyeballs are starting to go but it's a really nice compact um, Bible so I'm gonna put that one um, on eBay um, I got some vintage red heart uh, I think they're brown. Yeah, brown four skeins. Um, it is uh, vintage. I don't know exactly how old it is, but you can tell. Um, this one was two ninety nine, so it was a dollar fifty. So that was a good price. So I'm probably gonna put that on eBay. Um, I got this real cool looking frame. Um, it's got like embossed branches and leaves. It's in really nice condition. Uh, when I got it it was this part was coming up from uh, the front so last night I just ran a bead of glue on there and put a heavy book on it and it's perfectly fine now but I was very happy with that this I believe was $2.99 so it was $1.50 um I got fabric um, I don't know what it is with the thrift store either you know you find fabric a ton of it or nothing so I think somebody was cleaning out their stash. This is a lot of spring and summer type um, designs. And I think most of these are like two yards, which is perfect if you're making a dress for a little girl. So this one is pink with flowers. And all of these were $1.99 and half price they were a dollar. So 50 cents a yard, you can't beat that. So there's that one. There's this one, it's got a little bit of a, almost like a seersucker feel to it. If you're a sewer, you know what that is. Uh, but it's got fruit, and this one is also got that texture. It's yellow, uh, it's got pineapples and flowers, and this is my favorite. It's like a green uh, plaid with lemons. So wouldn't that make a beautiful little girl's dress? So, yeah, 50 cents a yard, can't beat that. Uh, I also got this puzzle. And it is a America the Beautiful coin collector's puzzle. Uh, it's 750 pieces, and it's the United States. And if you notice around the edges, it has places for the state quarters. So I thought that was kind of cool. It says it's frameable. It's 24 by 30, and it's still in the plastic shrink wrap, and it was $2. Oh, yeah, that was a good find. Okay, that is my stuff that I got recently. I also bought two shirts, but I don't know. I'm not one for doing a lot of clothing hauls. So now I'm going to show you my Florida stuff. In Florida on thrifting, I spent $42. So I will tell you what each individual item is, but I don't remember the color tags when I was down there. But $42 for everything I'm going to show you from now on to the end of the video. First thing I got was this... Uh, the foam stickers, they're already pre-cut, and they got like um, like animals and letters, and it's called Rodeo Gal, and these are really nice for different projects. Um, if This was only $1.99, so I know these are not cheap if you buy them in the store, uh, already pre-cut. Not sure how much, um, but I'm probably going to check on eBay and see... Otherwise, I'm probably just going to put it in my craft area uh, at the uh, at the antique mall. I've got a couple more items that would go in the craft area. I have this. It is a bead palette. 
Um, this is where you uh, you lay out your beads for a necklace and you can measure it and then go ahead and string them and then it has little uh, little troughs for uh, you know extra beads and such so if you're a necklace maker or jewelry maker that's a really nice find and this was only $1.99 so I think those are close to $10 in the store uh, another craft type item um, is this little puzzle piece mold it's one of the the silicone ones you could do soap you could even do ice cubes or the jello jigglers in these but uh, I thought that was just too adorable 70 cents you know it's funny because I saw a lot of prices 29 39 69 79 I don't even think my goodwill uses anything under 99 cents so I was very pleased with the prices on these items um, this is a salt and pepper shaker, a snowman, um, $1.99 from Publix, which is uh, grocery stores down there. I don't really have any, don't have any Publix around here. But uh, yeah, that was a good price. Those will go for six or seven. Probably going to put those away till next winter. Um, I got another Bible down there. This one is a real nice green leather. Uh, has the gilded edges. And the inscription page doesn't have anything on it, written on it. So I thought that would be nice. That would be a nice gift. Plus it's got the uh, ribbon bookmark. And that was only $1.99. I was pleased with that. This is really cute. It didn't have a price on it. So I went up and I asked, because a lot of, some stores will say, no, if it doesn't have a price, you can't buy it. Or we'll just give you a price, or you have to go to a certain door and ask for the price. So I wasn't sure if they were going to tell me, well, too bad. Um, didn't have a price. It's a nice wallet. It says, stash your cash. Isn't that cute? So I got up to the front, and she goes, oh, how about a buck? And I said, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so that will probably go to my antique mall. Um, I got a otter case for iPhone uh, 4, buck 99. This is exactly like the one my son has, so... But it's in really good condition. I mean, it's looks pretty good. So um, I might check on uh, eBay and see how those are going. Or I may just hang on to it. Found a lot of cute signs while I was there. Signs always do well at my antique booth. Uh, this one says, I always start my diet on the same day tomorrow. And it's got a little ribbon that's a uh, tape measure. I thought that was adorable. And that was only 69 cents. Uh, got this sign for 69 cents. Drama Queen. Anybody know a Drama Queen out there? Yeah, I'm sure you do. Um, this one was also 69 cents. And it says, you'll always be my friend, you know too much. It's like a, it looks like it's a carved, but it's probably just like a resin or something. But I thought that was adorable. Good price, too. Um, let's see. Um, I did get some bubble wrap while I was down there, and uh, I thought, well, hey, I could use it again when I get back. This is so cute. It is a stained glass piggy, and you can tell the eyes are kind of yellowed, so I'm going to probably have to replace those, but it has a little hanger on it. So when pigs fly, isn't that cute? That was 80 cents. Can you believe that? I always do good with stained glass, no matter what design or how big or small. Stained glass does well. Uh, let's see. I got this for next fall. This was 99 cents. It is a pumpkin, wood pumpkin with a bird, and then it has this little metal leaf and some metal um, like vines on it. And it's got this like glitterly gr glitter scroll work on it. And it's solid wood. 99 cents. So I'll put that away till next fall. I got this sign was 99 cents and it says sexy women have messy kitchens. <laughs> so whole 99 cents like reclaimed wood. So that was cute. This was also interesting. This was 99 cents and it's a fish wool wood plaque. The wood looks older. The fish is actually metal. 
I thought that was kind of cool. And then it has this like rope hanging string on it. I thought that would be cute for a man cave or such. But 99 cents. I mean, I'll probably put at least six, eight bucks on that one. Uh, more signs. I got this one for $2.99. It says, once you're over the hill, you pick up speed. <laughs> and this is a wood one as well. It doesn't, the only thing I noticed on it is it doesn't have anything to hang it up. So I have like a little, the little sawtooth hanger. So I'll have to do that before I take it out to hang it up. Uh, another sign. The best teachers teach from the heart, not from the book. And that was only $1.99, and it still has the, uh, the cardboard on it. You know, it's funny. This says $2.99, and then here it says $1.99. And when I got it up front, the guy was looking, and I was like, oh, no. And I said, oh, I didn't even notice that lard, the... The $2.99, he goes, no, I'll just give it to you for $1.99. <laughs> so it's like, yay. Uh, teacher signs do good. Um, is that all I had for signs? Uh, yeah, I think that's all I had for signs. Um, this actually I found at a, uh, it was kind of a mom and pop place, and it ended up being they uh, buy storage units, but they were going out of business. So it was, he's like, whatever you see, just, just, you know, whatever, I'll just, I'm trying to get rid of it and trying to empty it out. This is the only thing I found, but it is a quilting with the Muppets, and it has 15 patterns in it. And I think the original price on here was $2.50, and I said, I said, oh, how much do you take for that? And he goes, how about a dollar? So I was like, yay. So, yeah, it's a crafting quilting book, and it's Muppets. So, never seen anything like it. Hope it does well. I'm um, probably going to be putting that one on eBay. A um, couple things got squished <laughs> in transit. This was one of them. This was $1.99. It's got um, like the potpourri in it. And the little metal top that was on here popped off. But I thought that was really adorable. So I'll have to repair that before it goes out. But it's next fall, so I got plenty of time before I have to mess with that. This frame, I really fell in love with. It is, it looks like a little, uh, a little wagon, but it's a picture frame. It was $2.99. So I guess you just might do something like that. Isn't that cool? I thought that was really interesting. I, I, as I said before, we had I had bigger area before we moved into a double booth for picture frames. Now I kind of have it condensed down to th three shelves that are probably three feet long. So I kind of put all our picture frames in that area. And I'm only buying ones that are, you know, extra unique or different. And that one definitely qualified. So I'll probably put eight or nine dollars on that. Um, another salt and pepper shaker. Aren't those cute? And they're the, you know, this is a very popular colors now, the green and the aqua. Still got their plugs. I believe they were selling them separately because they had a whole bunch. I think these might have been from a store or something. And I think they had like 39 cents on them. So 80 cents for both. Not too bad. Um, I have sold uh, several flasks. This one it says uh, Cuddy on it. It was $1.99. And they always do really well. I had one, I think I showed in a previous video that had, uh, I think it had like a little leather case on it and it had like a little thing to score for golf or something. And that sold pretty quick. Um, this was also a boo boo. <laughs> I got uh, two puzzles and look what happened to this one. It got a tear in it. So I just put the a, a piece of plant or what do you call it, tape over it. But this was $1.99. It's got wine, 500 pieces. Um, I don't know. I've been selling a lot of puzzles. Sometimes they sit and sometimes they sell. So I have some extra spaces for puzzles. So total from all my thrifting, I got three. So I'll take all of those out. This one's got a little 
Chinese girl or Japanese girl with little things in her hair and stuff. Thousand Pieces, Milton Bradley, 99 cents, sealed. So, I, you know, I don't sell puzzles that have been opened unless I have personally put them together and then I seal them and then I write on there that they are uh, complete. So, yeah, I, I don't because I'm not one. If I'm going to spend six, eight bucks for a puzzle, I don't want one that's been opened unless I know that the, all the pieces are there. <sighs> um, these are uh, cookie cutters, snowflakes, 99 cents. I put those away till next year in my winter stuff. Uh, I got three. I actually bought some books for myself. I didn't include that in the forty-two dollars. These I bought for the uh, for the booth. This one's really neat. I actually think I might have gotten this one out of the library at one time. I am gonna look through it again before I uh, before I take it in. It's upcycling celebration. A use what you have guidebook to decorating, gift giving, and entertaining. It's soft cover, but all the pictures, you know, are color, and it's a really pretty book to look at. So, yeah, so I believe, I think I got that one, yeah, for 99 cents. Um, these two, I believe, were $1.99. Uh, the Do Healing Food Book, 1400 Refrigerator Remedies, Countertop Cures, and Miracle Menu that Fight Everything from Arthritis, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you get it. Um, I've sold these before. This one's from 2005. And then this one, it looks like it's maybe, uh, I don't think it's from the same people, but it's the same idea. I don't know what year is this one. Uh, ooh, 89. Um, I thought this one was newer than the bottom one. Okay. The Healing Foods, the Ultimate Authority for the Curative Power of Nutrition. This was also $1.99 because it is a hardback book. And the last thing I got was, this was all in a bag together, so I'll show it to you, and I'm probably going to sell it together. It's, uh, like, for little the little plastic kitchens, it's play items, so it's got this little pan. And let's see, I got ginger and oregano and cinnamon and parsley. So those are all, you know, little play spices. These are really cute. Move this stuff here. Um, little plastic pan and then it has the skillet and the lid fits both. So, isn't that cute? I don't know what it is with kids who love playing with this. I know my kids love playing with my real kitchen stuff when they were little. So, I don't know. Must be a kid thing. Um, a couple of these I'm not sure if I'm going to use. This one, this one is actually uh, wood. Tomato ketchup. A uh, piece, of, piece of bread. <laughs> Spatula. Another spatula or stir stick. Uh, cookie, cookie box. Uh, a couple of plates. A bowl. And then a spatula and spoon and stir stick. Another spoon. And a, this is it's a potato chip. But it's hard as a brick. Um, these are cute too, but I don't know. I'm going to try and wash them and see if they clean up a little bit. Look at this little baby pot holder. Isn't that cute? And this one. And this one. So, all this in a bag together was 99 cents. So, I figured that was a good deal. So, I'm probably going to, you know, maybe get a little cute little basket and put everything in there and, you know, and wrap it in plastic or something. Kind of make it look nice present presentation-wise. But I figure for 99 cents, even if I only sold part of it and some of these I got rid of, I figured that was a good price. So you don't find too many, uh, like, this kitchen stuff. Because people snag it up because kids love to play with it. 
But that's all I had. Um, I did want to show you one last thing. And this actually was from my last video. Let me try and move this. Hang on. This is a really cool picture I got. And it's of the Las Vegas welcome sign. If you notice, the frame is like a real rustic kind of wood. And it has glass in it. And it was $15 and then it was half price, so it was $7.50. So I was very pleased with that uh, find as well. That I got on Monday. And that's all I had for this time. Please give me a thumbs up, share, comment. I appreciate it. Now that you can hear me talking. Nobody's ever told me that they miss me talking, especially my kids. So, um, uh, hopefully everybody has some good picking weather now that it's warming up, hopefully a little bit. And I will see you next time. Until then, happy picking. Bye.